In this video, I'm going to present a high-level overview of another aponeurotic fascial sheet known as the thoracolumbar fascia. In a similar fashion to how the rectus sheath transfers force between the abdominal muscles on the anterior part of the body, the thoracolumbar fascia transfers and interconnects forces along the muscles on the back of the body or the posterior. I'm not a doctor, strength coach, or physical therapist, but I provide references at the end for you to check out yourself. The thoracolumbar fascia is key in transferring forces between the upper and lower parts of the body. Uh, if we look at the diagram here, we see that the latissimus dorsi, the gluteus maximus, and the trapezius muscles all connect to the thoracolumbar fascia. And if you watch the uh, muscle fibers, you'll see a continuity between the gluteus maximus going up at a diagonal into the contralateral latissimus dorsi on both sides. So here we see forces are able to transfer from the glute on one side to the contralateral lat on the other side. From this we can further see how forces on the lower body might affect the uh, movement of things like the shoulder because the latissimus dorsi has connections to the scapula as do the trapezius muscles. And the trapezius also connects to this thoracolumbar fascia, at least the lower fibers do, and the fibers in the trapezius go as far up as to the occipital bone in the skull. We also see here the serratus posterior inferior which acts as an antagonist to the serratus anterior um, in pulling the rib cage open is also connected into this thoracolumbar fascia but on a layer deep to the lats. And then finally we see how the rectus sheath will is tensionally coupled into the thoracolumbar fascia via the oblique muscles and the transversus abdominis, both the external oblique and internal oblique and the deep muscle, the transversus abdominis, all connect between the rectus sheath on the anterior body and the thoracolumbar fascia on the posterior of the body. So we have a coupling of tension between the front and back of the body and upper and lower parts of the body via these two fascial sheets. Now let's look at the layers of the thoracolumbar fascia. The muscles I mentioned below, the lats, the serratus posterior inferior, external obliques, and trapezius all make up the superficial layer uh, or posterior layer of the thoracolumbar fascia. The internal obliques, transverse abdominis, and then going further deep to the deep muscles of the back, the erector spinae, the quadratus lumborum, and the psoas muscles, those all make up and connect to the anterior layer or deep layer of the thoracolumbar fascia. Now the diagram I'm showing right now is a, the three-layer model of the thoracolumbar fascia. There's also a two-layer model which lumps uh, some of the layers together. The layer middle layer becomes part of the posterior layer of the thoracolumbar fascia. An interesting pattern here is that we, when we look at the superficial layer, the muscle fibers attached to the thoracolumbar fascia travel in an oblique fashion diagonally throughout through the body and also going transversely moving to the anterior from back to front of the body. The deep layers fo follow a more longitudinal pattern going vertically up and down the spine. So the erector spinae going from the sacrum all the way up to the occipital bone, the psoas going from the spine down to the femur, and then the quadratus lumborum going from the spine to the pelvis. As we analyze the movements in internal martial arts training methods, we'll soon see that the movement patterns will mimic and take advantage of these patterns in the muscle and fascial directions. So we'll see diagonal movements to take advantage of the contralateral connection between the shoulder and hip and also longitudinally across the sacrum and skull. 
you want to learn more about the thoracolumbar fascia, I recommend the functional atlas of the human fascial system. A book I've recommended on all the other videos has a complete uh, breakdown of the thoracolumbar fascia with uh, dissections from human cadavers. And a another free source on the internet, there's an article, Thoracolumbar Fascia, Anatomy, Function, and Clinical Considerations from the Journal of Anatomy. That also has images of the thoracolumbar fascia and a very detailed breakdown of all the connections and layers within it. So check those out if you want to learn more. All right, so that completes some of the general anatomy that I wanted to cover of the human body before we can get into back to analyzing the Santi postures and other internal martial arts training methods. And these will be necessary to really understand and comprehend everything that's involved and is being exercised in these training methods. So like, share, subscribe, follow. Stay tuned for more to come.